Hey everyone, it's me, Emmy Way Black Swan, back again with another video, and this one is going to be my anti haul, and I'm so excited about doing it. And I'm excited because I'm not here to bash, but I do believe we need to shed a little light on all of these launches and products being put, basically kind of shoved down our throats almost every other day. Everything's becoming so saturated and and forced upon us to spin, spin, spin. It's like it's getting gross. It's getting to the point where it's getting gross because nobody can keep up with all these makeup products and half the products don't seem of good quality, repeated, just repackaged and resold to us basically. But it's just like it's becoming a way for them to just find a new way to make money instead of them selling us things for the love of makeup or to make the consumer happy. If you're not familiar with the anti-haul, first, a little YouTube history is that the a YouTuber named Kimberly Clark, from what I understand, is the one who coined the idea of putting an anti-haul or making an anti-haul video. And everybody was like, yo, you know, this is such a great idea. We can all start sharing the things that we are not going to buy. And she just took off with if you are able to watch any of her videos her videos are so funny and amazing you will love her in the videos first item on the list this one i had to get some serious thought to because i went through a lot of phases in my purchasing decision i went from all i got i gotta get it to oh hell no i'm not getting this to okay maybe i can find a way to oh look my Highlight is starting. And then now I'm to my final phase. I went through my, my stages of, you know, like coming to terms with this item. The Bosca Illuminating Black Mask. Are you? Are, like, no, I'm not about to sit here and be screaming. And in pain, just for what? What is it supposed to do? Clean your pores and get rid of whiteheads or blackheads and dead skin? Girl, that's what exfoliants for. Your blackheads, me personally, I like to use my Origins exfoliating facial scrub because as you can see, I, well, you can't because I'm on makeup, but I used to have a really bad whitehead problem and that stuff just, I'm not about to sit here. And, and play face off with Nicolas Cage and John Travolta. I'm not wrong. Bosca, Bosca Black Face Illuminating Mask. That's, that's a, that's a, no, 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 no. Okay, so the next item I have to talk about is Lime Crime. Y'all know I like me some Lime Crime, but they jumped out the window when they bust out with this, what is it, the unicorn hair dye? But for who? Who can use it? Unless I have already platinum blonde hair, this is not gonna work on me. And most of your, I'm pretty sure that probably 6% of your consumers do not have hair light enough to be able to use that. Or they're gonna have to color their hair to be light enough to be able to use your hair dye. Cause their hair dye is coming like bright pinks and purples and blues. Like, it's the color of unicorn. Like, if you want to look like an Elisa Frank spiral notebook, like, that's what you... And I'm sorry, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't, like, Feria and L'Oreal come up with hair dye like that for, like, the average consumer? Didn't they, like, put that on the market, like, over a year ago? For half the price? So, Lime Crime... You are the donkey of the day. <laughs> Speaking of unicorns, if y'all watch a lot of anti hauls, y'all know where I'm going next. That tart mother tarts unicorn collection. I find it that a lot of tart colors, like their eyeshadows, they come off ashy, ashy on me. The product is great, but the undertone does not fit my skin tone very well. Like tart, like just looking at it, I was like, ugh. If I wear that, I'm gonna look like Nicki Minaj on crack. Nicki Minaj circa 2010, you know, like pink hair Nicki. 
Okay, another one that really disappointed me was the Nikki Tutorials collection that she has with Ofra Cosmetics. If you're familiar with Nikki Tutorials, Nikki Tutorials is one of the best makeup gurus on YouTube. She is a freaking beast. And what makes her so unique and different and so talented above everybody else is that she has a very ivory skin color, which is very hard to put makeup on because it's very unforgiving. And also, she has tiny eyes. So for her to be able to get that much detail in such small space and be able to work very well with her skin complexion makes her a step above most YouTube makeup artists. But that being said, um, I'm very disappointed that her makeup collaborations fall flat. Like, I don't understand why. I'm like, Nikki, you the baddest, you the baddest on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should really be out here showing us how makeup should be made. So that's what I thought. First when she came up with her Too Faced palette and that was a hot mess. The, the eyeshadows were garbage. Now this one with Ofra, first of all, okay. So the kit has three metallic lip colors, right? None of them look like they're gonna compliment me at all because one's like, it looks like a copper penny and that's not gonna, mm -mm. unless I'm gonna look like Nana going to church, you know, during the fall, I'm not gonna wear it. And then they have like this orange one. Girl, I'm not working for Louis Vuitton in the spring. And they have this pale one. It just looks so unforgiving. I think it would look great on somebody like Nikki's color. I think it looks good on Nikki. But I don't, I, she, she claims on her videos, it looks so good. I'm like a chocolatey girl. I had y'all in mind. I'm like, girl, you know you didn't. Did you even try it on one of your black friends? Because it doesn't look like you did. What makes it even worse is like, she has the one, the one container with three highlights in it. So you get a container, probably like, probably like this big, and there's three different highlights in it. Cute concept, very, cost efficient, but for us as a consumer, that's a dumb idea. Because who is able to have a connecting trifecta of highlighters and they can't mix, they're gonna mix. To be honest, it doesn't look like I can use any of them, but I know for sure, two of the colors I'm not gonna use. Like the one that looks like, you know, construction paper with glitter on it, and then the other one that looks like sandblast, and then she has like a copper looking one. I mean, they all look like horrible undertones for anybody who is like an NC30 or darker. You can you can buy each um, item separately, but not the highlight. The highlight is gonna come in the 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 ugly trifecta. You you can't separate that. It's gonna come in one. So yeah, I'm you Nick. I, I love her so much. I just feel so disappointed. It's so aggravating. Like it's too much talent for you to be doing collabs with some boo boo companies. Like, why couldn't you? Who are your friends, girl? Somebody needs to put you on to like a company that can like get you good to go. Like I can see her doing something with La Rock and rocking that out or benefit. I feel like they would be a cute couple. Ooh, she would be a cute couple with Urban Decay. I'm, I'm, I'm never gonna get that. I, you don't have to ever worry about me doing a review a Naked Tutorials collection with Oprah. I'm never gonna get it. I'm never gonna get Never gonna get it, never gonna get it. Never gonna get it, 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 never get it. The next item on my list, I was really disappointed by it because I'm a writer for Anastasia, but I will not be buying that Aurora, Aurora, I don't know how to say it, but you know what I'm talking about, the Aurora one, you know the one, I'm gonna show a picture of it. Mm -mm. Girl, girl, stop. And then also I noticed 
the other colors the only highlight palette other than the actual glow kit they have ashy undertones the glow kit is the only one that i used with that had an actual warm undertone and it complimented my skin and it looked like a glow other than like chalk wiped across my face so i'm not gonna buy that <sighs> abh i need you to chill out with the highlight packages like stop like all these palettes that y'all keep coming out with back to back to back like dang girl i mean like slow down can we date first I feel like the glow palette was like our first date and then like in the middle of that first date she brought her five kids to meet me and her mom and dad so that is the end of my anti haul I hope y'all enjoyed yourselves on this silly video today these are just my views it it doesn't mean anything if you decide to or not to buy any of these products. This is just me talking for myself. And hopefully you enjoyed bearing through this. But don't be shy and put a comment down below. Like and subscribe to this channel. And until next video, I'll see you next time.